my fellow witches, Wiccans, and magical beings. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for listening to this podcast. And welcome to The Charmed Circle. In this podcast, I definitely will be covering a lot of topics. Some of them are going to include the craft itself, Wicca, Grimoires, Book of Shadows. Uh, You know, getting a little more into discussing what magic is itself. Definitely not going to be that Disney Hollywood depiction that we are so used to seeing. So I'm sorry if you're looking for a podcast where you can learn how to shoot lightning or fire out of a wand. This is not the one. A couple of other subjects that I will be getting into are going to include herbalism, the sabbats, esbets, as well as providing resources for those of you who feel lost or for those of you who are new and trying to find a path that best suits you. Um, or maybe you're just bored and want something to listen to. Whatever it is, I'm just hoping that this podcast brings you that entertainment and or knowledge. So a little bit about me, I guess I should give a little bit of an introduction. My name is Zoe. I am a practicing eclectic Wiccan. Um, I have knowingly been practicing the craft for about 15 years now. However, I did grow up with a parent who did some candle magic and hoodoo voodoo here and there. I basically have been around the occult, as some people would call it, my entire life. I don't want to talk too much about my path itself or how I got there. I do plan on doing another episode on how and what resources I used um, to get where I am today. This episode will primarily focus on the introduction to the podcast. Also, I just would like to state that anything that I share or speak on in this podcast comes from my experience as well as my practice. None of you need to follow or take whatever I say serious. Please, please, please just remember to take what I say with a grain of salt as well as the new witches who might be listening in. Please just remember that witchcraft or your craft in general does not need to follow any set form of rules or anything that someone says that you feel is right sorry I mean wrong (laughs) Um, you don't need to follow that you're more than welcome to do whatever it is that you feel is the right thing for you I do plan on posting a lot of the episodes on my youtube channel the channel of course is going to be called the charmed circle podcast so if you don't have a means for a streaming service you can find some of the episodes on there I know times are hard so whatever I can do to make anyone's life easier count me in (laughs) I'll also make sure to provide an email that you guys can send any requests or questions or any topics that you'd like for me to cover in this podcast. Um, That email will be available for you guys to send all those inquiries to. Well, now that we got all the socials out of the way, um, I guess I should get into what my definition is of witchcraft or Wicca. Again, these are my own personal opinions, so if you disagree, that is absolutely fine. So, what is wicca wicca by definition is a modern day nature based pagan religion um was pretty much founded by a guy in like the 1950s by the name of gerald gardner um i don't remember if he's actually the real founder i do believe there is a woman who had some part to play again you don't need to practice gardenian wicca or anything that is related to gerald gardner if you don't like him that is absolutely fine Uh, I basically view Wicca as a religion that works very closely with nature and the energies of nature. It's just really important to remember that all Wiccans are witches, but not all witches are Wiccans. So if you're ever unsure, I find that asking can really help um, clear up some of the misconceptions of people. Uh, I know not everyone likes to refer to themselves as Wiccans, so just, again, be respectful and mindful of what people believe and practice, and vice versa. If you are not a fan of Wicca, that is absolutely fine, but please just be respectful of the people who do practice it. What is witchcraft? Well, witchcraft to me, in its most basic form, involves a person that works with any tools, material, and their intentions uh, to bring a desired outcome. It doesn't necessarily always need to include some form of material. I personally really believe in the energy and the intention that you put behind a spell is what brings about that desired outcome. Lastly, what is a witch or Wiccan? To me, a witch is someone who uses the energy around them to make their lives better or to help the people around them. 
not everyone has the same mindset as me so if you believe witchcraft to be something else that is absolutely fine also being a witch does not mean that you need to wear all black all the time as well as heavy makeup and a pentacle necklace there is no aesthetic to being a witch you can dress and wear whatever you'd like so please don't feel that pressure to look a certain way because we all know they are stereotypes and not everyone is the same you also don't need to have all of the fancy tools for your altar i think a lot of people feel very pressured into purchasing a ton of stuff to make themselves feel witchy which honestly buying a journal and maybe a book with some information on witchcraft the craft or wicca in general is probably the best way to start your practice so please 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 do not feel like you need to buy a ton of stuff to set up your altar because that is not going to make you more of a witch um, just remember that witchcraft itself is a journey and it's something that you just continue to keep learning and changing well that completes this episode i'd like to keep it short and sweet i plan on releasing another episode next wednesday december 13th 7 p.m central time and remember one with the night one with the day one with the earth that is the witch's way i'm your host zoe and this is the charmed circle <laughs>